Well, hello guys, it's Rustin and we're going to play my game, a game that I wanted to play a long ass time ago. Uh, it's called Stories of the Path of Destinies. And I had this game in the library for like a whole three or four years. I had no idea, never touch it, never play it. Saw the trailer and I'm like, you know what, it'll be interesting playing this game. So, yeah, but then let's play this game. Let's play it. See if it's... Since you're doing this, I mean, I never played. Alright, so. So, I have it in Spanish, then that's what I can up to Ooh, you know what? I'm just Yeah. Once upon a time, the infamous rover Renardo plundered the floating isles. Then his mother called him to her deathbed. Swear to me that you won't die on the gallows. She rasped. Reluctantly, he swore. And he whiled away his days at home with music, cards, and wine. Damn. But the emperor had changed. He'd been good once, a shy, almost humble toad. He'd built universities. Then people started whispering about mass graves in the woods, midnight rituals, victims screaming. The Imperial Ravens would round up entire villages. And Much hair from me. Return. The Ravens had come to Ubar scouting for ancient books said to be of great power. But the librarians had hidden the books, so they'd burnt the librarians. The citizens, outraged, had driven them off. The Ravens had come back with dropships. The kid had fled with one of those books. He was brave and dumb and wanted to join the rebellion. And Renardo had promised his mother he'd protect him. Okay, so far it looks friendly. It looks very friendly. Nothing dark about that. Nada oscuro. Solo es muy amigable el juego. And fuck, man. That's not the dark book. Watching his city burn. Sorry, kid. Renato told the kid. Look, if we give them the book, they'll leave you alone. My mother died for this book! I promised her I'd protect you. Oh, damn it. The kid had run off. With the book, of course. So Renato had to run after him. Well. I'm guessing this is that should be considered. I mean, you should consider his safety, but why would you run off with the book, man? You're a kid. You have no idea what you're doing. You're, you're still young. And of course, you have to figure out what's our own. Guess how most games are. I have no idea what I'm doing. I really cannot go this way. Thank God, I guess I want to get lost. Okay, let's go. The two ravens were staring at the kid like he was their dinner, which probably was what was in their tiny brains. Hey, Renato said. They cocked their heads at him. Pick on someone as ugly as you. Wait, didn't come out right? For the Emperor! The ravens cawed and rushed at him. Oh! Boom! Wait, did I just... did I just chop his head off? Not very child friendly, man. Oh. When the enemy is at a point of attack. And it looks fun. It actually looks like fun. I don't know how hard this game can get. I mean, there's no easy more armor, it just shows. Why not just kick an ass? I mean, oh! Jump and dark. Damn! It's brutal as hell. What kind of sword is his ass? What kind of sword he has? No, not his ass. Oh, whatever. I don't know, you guys heard it right or not. A dropship flew overhead. He hoped they hadn't noticed him. The kid. I love the narration. I actually love it. Fun. 
I wonder if I can throw this guy out of the stage. Oh, I can. Oh, I almost killed myself. Jesus Christ. This game is brutal. The gate of heroes. Someone's idea of a joke. Making the Skyship Docks a gated community. You needed a hero's sword to open it. And the kid was on the other side of the gate. Who let you through? Promise me you'll take the book to the rebels. Or I'm gonna steal your ship. I'm not taking the damn book anywhere. And neither are you. Try and stop me, laughed the kid. I bet you don't even have a hero sword. And with that, the kid hopped away. Damn. Had to hand it to the kid. He was an idiot, but he had guts. Where was Renardo going to get a hero sword? Bruh! My god. That's sir. This kid. This kid, man. He's an idiot, just like they said. I don't even know how I was mean, as a kid. What the fuck is all this shit? I could forge a hero's sword here, but I'm going to need ore. Oh. Look at this, father. I was there, I said, we're going to do it. But that's the key. Where is it? Could I get to the side of it? What's this? Oh my god. This material is This material is poor. 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 Yes. Ah, god, it's too much Spanish. Sorry about that, it's gonna tangle a little bit. God damn it. No, no. God, no, no, no. God damn it. Here we go. Ah, oh, they got tangled for a moment. You need a minute. You need a minute. Try to put it. I don't know, that sounds fun. Let's go farm, I guess. I hope I'm sorry, green guy. I use this stuff. Another narration. Ah, oh, let me see if I can. Uh. Oh no 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 no! Just do it anyway. I saw this high level. Yep. Yep. Subtitles. Yep. Everything's fine. Yep. There we go. I just need it. Hey, that was off. That was nice. Oh, here we go. Winter time. Spider was zero. Spider anyway. A hero sword. Q V -E D. Let's go. I love that animation that kind of like how uh, this fox is trying to save a rabbit. That's kind of ironic. <gasps> oh my god! Is this the prequel to Zootopia? For settling down and finding people to care about. The kid's mum had been a swell cook and she'd laughed at Renato's jokes even when he didn't know he'd made one. And then the ravens had come to burn her. And she'd made him promise to protect the kid. But she never told him where the book was. Just the kid. Again, this game is brutal. Even if it's like, even if it's kid friendly, you have people burn your life, which is kind of fun because I want to burn someone alive to see how to see how they die. I mean, in the game, of course. In the game, in the game, of course. And that was easy. You know, this kid. I wish I can kick his ass. He's a soldier. Up uh, on the top general. He came oh, up to a ledge. It was too far to jump. There'd been a bridge here before, hadn't there? And there was Peter, giggling at him. How'd you get across? He asked the kid. Where'd you find a hook? I hopped, said the kid. White ass kid. Hey, look out behind you. Q, said Renardo. 
Oh, ravens. Ay, es funny. Está muy gracioso ese como, como hablar en español y los subtítulos están en inglés. No, no digo, digo, digo que los subtítulos están en español y como hablan en inglés. Ay, güey. It was time to talk some sense into the kid. Just hook his way across the ledge and chase the kid down. The thing was, he hadn't used his hook since he'd retired. Maybe if he meditated at that altar there, he'd remember his old skills. Okay. Cada que hacerle también menos un punto de apuntar a su. Oh, y si voy a continuar Spyro, si voy a continuar este juego, si lo voy a continuar. Si lo voy a continuar. Just don't worry, guys. I will continue Spyro. It was starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot. Like how to freeze time when attacking. The more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go with it. Oh, interesting. I don't think that's how it works, but oh well. Oh no, that's fun. I don't think you can do that to anyway. The fact that you can like, jump in this game is just funny. I wonder if you can jump there or you know this is fun. Who needs to jump? Jump is never is never fun. Not just me, it is. It's never fun. There was the star fun to jump. She was the fastest ship he'd ever known. She could do the Kester run in 12 furlongs. So the salesman told him, and something told him the kid was about to walk into an ambush. Stop! He shouted. I'm not giving you the book! Shouted the kid, and took off. No! Peter! The kid ran for it, and a goggler nailed him with its eyes. Damn, bro. Damn. Oh, that was brutal. That was brutal, man. That was brutal. Oh, he got burned. <laughs> See, this is what you get, Peter, for, for running away. This is what you get, Peter. The book was unburned. Next to it were the buckles from the kid's shoes and the kid-sized pile of ashes. Damn it. Why hadn't he lied and told the kid he'd take the book to the rebels? The kid would be alive now. Really pissed off and betrayed, but alive. Oh, damn it. Renardo picked up the book. He couldn't let the Empire have it now. He was going to have to get it out of there. He'd be a wanted man. Probably have to join the rebellion just to have a place to dock. Well, he'd hated home life anyway. Well, well, Peter's dead. And we promised his mother we would protect him. How funny is that? How ironic is that and how fucked up that is? Oh, god damn it, stupid kid. Oh, poor Peter. Already, if someone dies, I love this game already. I love this game already. I don't know if I should feel sad or glad, cause really, as a kid, ash size kid, pile ash, kid pile ash. God damn it, Peter! Por qué, Peter? Te dijimos. What's the big deal about this book anyway? Maybe he should open it and find out. He had a gun. All that had been years ago. How many? The war was a blur. And now three Raven scout ships were chasing him. Where are you running, rebel? Called the Raven captain over the loud hailer. Renato could see them cranking up their catapults. Just going out for milk? 
We're not a yell back. Nice. Where can you run? <laughs> Laughed the raven horribly. Far behind him, another city was burning. The dark cloud above its island was thousands of Imperial ships. The fleet was doing a thorough job. Take us to the rebel base! I will spare your life! It called. The entire jury-rigged rebel fleet was only a few islands to the east. Beyond that were only the pillars of heaven. A sea of endless blood-colored tornadoes. The rebellion was out of time. Unless Renardo could bring a game-changer. Maybe he could. Renardo had found out where he could find the pieces of the Sky Ripper. The legendary weapon that had exiled the lost gods. Surely a legendary weapon could win the final battle. On the other hand, his old friend Lupino had sent Renardo a desperate message saying he had a brilliant scheme to save the rebellion. If Renardo could only rescue him. Renardo dived the farfarer towards the abyss. As he felt the heat of the jet stream, the raven ships peeled off, not stable enough to follow him down there. Now it was time to choose. Lapino or the Sky River. Oh, it's a choose game. Well, I don't know if I'm first. I'm going to be a step in the middle. The story is Sky Ripping. The Ruin is tough where the tempo is. I'm going to be a little bit of 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 a little no puede ser en Nueva Zelanda. La rebelión está fuera, fuera de tiempo y esta buena pieza de y una pieza. Oh, no sé. Oh, I hate the game choices. Because every time you choose something, there's something bad happens or something good happens. Ah, oh, sure. Oh, fuck it. We can simply play this game over and over. All right, let's go with this. Hopefully, it doesn't screw us over. If it does, then fuck me. Ah, uh, Lapino. Apparently, the mad rabbit had sold a Pegasus that he did not exactly own. Lapino always wiggled out of trouble given time, but he was out of time. The Ravens had figured out that Lapino was a rebel spy. If the fleet reached him first, they'd string him up for that. Never mind the winged horse. Hope it doesn't screw me over. Hope I don't feel bad. Because I hate on games like this. It's like walking dead over again. Fucking me. You had to say someone. Apparently managed to confuse the judge by arguing that he hadn't actually stolen a winged horse. He'd only sold it. Wait, where was the prison? The village was empty. Had... Had everybody fled the ravens? Oh. The blood was up. He just needed to smash something. Oh my god. I love this game, I hope it doesn't screw me over. I'm gonna say that trust me, I hope it doesn't screw me over because of the choices. Oh. Oh, okay, here it is. Huh. Should I? Oh, how do you look this? That's fine. Nope, I'm gonna go back to that. You know, I kind of wish you had all your different combos, but I like practice your moves, thought Renato. Keeps you limber. Huh. I'm kind of curious if I can actually help me.
This door is gonna help you a lot, I think. Not to have a look. This thing's fun, and all that stuff. Building these platforms was so expensive, they'd run out of budget for guardrails. People were frightened these days. Just two weeks passed, Renardo had sneaked through an empty town and listened to the Raven's call about the Emperor's new taste in ritual sacrifice. God damn. Honestly. I'm playing up. <laughs> Did you even need to chill? Sacrifices? What the fuck? What's going on? Firewalls only let you through if they think you're hot enough. I'm hot enough. <laughs> I'm not enough, I'm a, I'm a smixy fox, why not? I'm a smixy fox, but, so let me through, man, I'm hot. Oh my fucking god. I should probably say that. So many secrets. This one contained nothing but unmatched gloves. And something more useful. Oh, that's really useful. Oh. Guard. He'd better get moving. If they got to Lupino first, they'd eat him for breakfast. Or a snack. Ravens weren't picky. If they got hungry, they sometimes forgot to interrogate their prisoners. Even top spies like Lupino. Where had the mad rabbit got to? Renata felt a little better. I love the dark humor in this game. I, gotta lie. I love the dark humor. You assume we, when they make a little comedy like that? I mean, this is not stress right now. I think it's gonna get harder eventually. I need more health because if I don't, they're gonna get fucked over. I only have 100 health. But I did do a lot of damage. I'm not sure this is a hard one. I said, oh. I think I have to be pet. As it starts, the pattern just needs to suck. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah, it's your other stuff. 
Oh, this is, this is just grinding and pure exploring. I know this is playing games. Okay, I didn't, I didn't see him. Ronaldo felt like he was ready to learn new things. Thank goodness he didn't have to go to school for that. It was well. starting to come back to him. Something you never completely forgot. Like how to freeze time when attacking. Oh, the more he fought, the more he'd probably remember. Ah, uh, that's fine. Yeah. I don't know how this works, but oh, god. Hey, it's not gonna be handy. It's like dodging. Two violence, yeah, boy. Another Renato felt a chill run down his back, or possibly a flea. Ooh, that sucks. They really want you to, to they really want you to like get on PS now. Some new ones. Now he really ought to ask for a raise. That's gonna come in handy. I should just in the combo, but oh, they really want you to improve. They really want you to go up oh, here, so I'm guess. And then that's gonna get harder and difficult. Oh, so it's upgrade and upgrade. It's they know you have to. Let's go, 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 let us go let us they're very reasonable people, actually, for weasels. Now, I got a brilliant plan to kidnap Zenobia. We capture Zenobia, we find out what she knows, and that's the whole war right there. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Capture the Emperor's greatest general, who also happened to be a deadly sorcerer and, oh, his only daughter? That would be worth it. On the other hand, he could still get to the core of the Sky Ripper, even if he couldn't get the whole thing. It must have great power. Oh, choices and choices! Is this an obvious idol? Only the first time for this day now, but... Oh, okay. Oh, that's
no, I don't know, 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 I don't She'd been Renato's best friend in sword through school. And you're still mad for her. The rabbit reminded him. They'd been close. This is gonna be a She bitch. told him things no one else knew. But she never told him who she really was. She Dude. knows all the Emperor's plans. Chuckled the master spy. She won't give them up easily. <laughs> She'll tell the interrogators oh, all right. right. Said Lapino. Taking her would change the game, all right. Things are not gonna turn out well. Oh, this is my actual live stream. <laughs> Why? No. Oh, what are we doing? No. <laughs> the city uh, was already under Zenobia's control. I had to admire her efficiency. Renato shivered at the thought of Zenobia at the mercy of the interrogators. Could he really turn her over to them? But this was war. It wasn't meant to be pretty. Oh my gosh. Nice. He's gonna bite me in the ass, dude. Oh god. I never right. felt you were just going around in circles. Bernardo felt like that. Yeah, that's how I feel. I just going around in circles. It was funny. You know what? We're gonna end it here and. Yeah. We're gonna take this tomorrow, guys. Yeah. I need to go to my thoughts on this. And it's bye guys, so we continue this later on during the day.